Okay, so we've set up empty pages for our users page, our chat page, and our auth page. Let's design the users page now. So we want that to look like this. So we want a list of users with their names, an avatar which has the first letter of their name in it, and this little badge to say whether they're online or offline. Okay, so I'm going to jump over to the Quasar site and jump to view components and list and list items. Let's see if we can find something suitable. Okay, so this looks pretty good, this list of contacts. So I'm going to click on view source. I'm going to grab the markup for this queue list component. Paste that inside our queue page element. And I'll grab the script for that as well. Paste that in our script section. And I'll just indent that a little bit. Okay, let's save that, see how it looks. Okay, this looks pretty good. We don't need this offline section at the bottom because we're going to have badges over here instead. So I'm going to remove that bit, this second queue item here, and this label and this queue separator. And I'll remove the offline contacts from the data as well. Okay, let's save that. Okay, that looks pretty good. And I'm going to move this array down into my data object here and I'll just uh, fix the indentation on that save that okay what have I done wrong here okay now that this contacts array is in our data we need to replace this equals with a colon save that okay and I'm going to rename this to users and I'll have to replace the word contact with user throughout this v4 loop as well. Save that. Okay, so I'm just going to re replace the names with some simple names. So Danny, Jim, and Lucy. And I'll just get rid of this last one. And we don't need the email addresses. So I'm going to remove this item label here with the email and remove those email addresses from the data as well. And this letter, we don't actually need a data property for this. We can simplify our data by just getting rid of this letter property. And instead what we can do is, here where that avatar is being spit out, we can just add user.name dot char at brackets zero. So this will just grab the first character from this name. Let's save that. Okay, that's looking pretty good, although it's squished over to the left now. So I'm going to add a class to this queue list of full width. This is a class built into Quasar which will give elements full width. Okay, and I'm also going to add a separator prop to this so that we have a little line between each user and this looks a bit weird now that we've added the separator and I think that's because of this padding class we have on the queue item so I'll get rid of that class and I'll split these attributes up actually save that Okay, now I'm going to add a little padding to this page. So on the queue page component, I'm just going to add a class of Q dash P for padding, A for all directions, dash MD. You can find all these padding and margin classes on the Quasar site. If you go to style and identity and spacing, it tells you how to use those classes there. Okay, so I'll save that. Okay, that's looking pretty good. I don't really like this border, so I'm going to remove this bordered prop from the queue list component. Okay, we're almost there now. We want to replace this icon with a badge which says whether the user is online or offline. So I'm going to jump back to the Quasar site. 
jump to view components and badge. Okay, so I'm just going to get a basic one like this. So I'm going to click view source, copy this Q badge component, and we'll paste that inside this Q item section here instead of this chat bubble icon. Paste that. And we'll just add the text online for now. Save that. Okay, so we're going to need a property in our data here for the user's online status. So for each user, I'm going to add a new property called online. And I'll set that to true. And on the middle one, I'll set that to false. Save that. Okay, now what we can do for the text in this badge is we can get rid of this online text, add double curly braces. And we can use a ternary if statement to spit out different text depending on whether the user is online or offline. So what we can do is, if the user is online, as in if this property is true, then we can spit out the text online. Otherwise, we want to spit out the text offline. Let's save that. Okay, that's working. Online, offline, and online. Now it'd be good if we had different colors for the badge, depending on whether the user is online or offline. So this color prop here, I'm going to bind to that and we can use a ternary if statement again. So if the user is online, then spit out, I'm going to use light dash green dash five. Otherwise I'm going to spit out gray dash four. And you can find all these color classes that are built into Quasar on the Quasar site. If you go to style and identity and then color palette find all these classes here okay so let's see how that looks yeah that looks a lot better now if our user clicks on a user we want to jump to the chat page so i'm going to add a two prop to this q-item component and just set that to slash chat save that let's see if that works click on a user yeah we're now on the chat page Okay, I think we're done designing this users page. In the next video, we're going to design the chat page. Make sure you click my head to subscribe. And don't forget to leave a comment. If you want to grab the source code for this app, go to dannys.link slash smackchatcode. And if you want to learn all of the basics of Quasar Framework, Vue.js, Vuex and Firebase, then check out my full course at dannys.link slash quasar.